spring okay having spring constant k spring constant k now as we know that suppose if i apply an external force okay if i apply an external force in this direction so there will be extension in this direction so greater the external force greater the extension now when this external force is removed the restoring comes restoring force comes into play so that acts in the opposite direction so th this is the restoring force or spring force so i can call this as restoring force or i can call it as spring force okay now those the spring force or the restoring force acts opposite to the external force so as we can see uh, the external force the greater the external force the greater the extension so f external that is the external force it is proportional to the extension and both are in the same direction but how about the spring force or restoring force it acts opposite to the direction of extension so f spring force or the internal restoring force it is proportional to x but it is in opposite direction so we have a minus sign so we have f external the external force it is equal to kx the k is the spring constant and spring force is equal to minus kx spring force is equal to minus kx now if i draw a graph between external force and this side x is positive x is greater than 0 this side x is negative so what does this mean this side we have extension in the spring this side we have compression in the spring now in this case see extension x is in the downward direction external force is also acting in the downward direction both are in the same direction and both are proportional so we get a straight line passing through origin now if you see this first quadrant in this side x is positive force is also positive extension is positive external force it is also positive in this direction if you see see if we compress the spring x will be in the upward direction so x to compress the spring external force will also act in the upward direction so x will be negative x will be negative external force will also be negative so this is the graph between external force and extension or compression now similarly if i draw a graph between spring force and sorry this side you have extension or compression and this side spring force then we will get a graph with a negative slope in this case the slope is k in this case the slope is minus k so you have a graph with a negative slope passing through origin okay now in this case as as you can see in this direction x is positive that is in this case when the spring is extended so when the spring is extended the restoring force acts in the upward direction so when x is positive restoring force is negative when x is positive restoring force or spring force is negative in this case when x is negative restoring force is positive that is if the spring is compressed in the upward direction x is negative and the restoring force will act in the downward direction okay now if you calculate the area of this graph so in this case suppose if i calculate the area of this part the shaded part okay now suppose this value is some xm so for this triangle the area will be area of shaded part it will be half into base into height isn't it now this is equal to half into xm into what is spring force spring force is minus k times now in this case x is equal to for this particular point x is equal to xm so in this relation 
एफ एस इक्वल टू माइनस के एक्स वी विल राइट माइनस के एक्स एम सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस हाफ के एक्स एम स्क्वेर सो दिस इज द वर्क डन बाय दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर वर्क डन बाय द स्प्रिंग सो एरिया ऑफ द शेडेड पार्ट विल गिव यू वर्क डन वर्क डन बाय द spring now if we calculate the area for for this graph you will get half k xm square positive so this is the work done by external force so this is the work done by external force so total work done is zero if we add the work done by external force plus the work done by spring force the sum is zero now why is the sum is zero as you can see the total force f external force if you add the external force and the spring force what do you get f external plus f spring force what do you get you get zero okay so this is one concept the other important concept is suppose you have you are given a question wherein suppose you have a spring of some constant k okay and it has some length l and the spring is cut into some parts and then you are asked to calculate the ratio of the spring constant or what are the new spring constant of each segment then for that you have to use this concept that the force constant or spring constant force constant or spring constant is inversely proportional inversely proportional to the natural length of the spring to the natural length of the spring okay so this is the concept force constant or spring constant is inversely proportional to the natural length of the spring that is so we have the relation uh, k inversely proportional to l k inversely proportional to l force constant inversely proportional to natural length now suppose the spring is uh, broken into three parts three fragments and uh, this is spring constant k1 this is k2 this is k3 this length is l1 this is l2 and this is l3 now suppose the length of the segments are in the ratio uh, n1 is to n2 is to n3 so this is the ratio of the length the length are in the ratio n1 is to n2 is to n3 say 1 is to 2 is to 3 or whatever such that l1 plus l2 plus l3 so this spring is broken into three parts so this l1 plus l2 plus l3 will be equal to the total length now in this case what is the value of say this for this segment what is the value of l2 l2 will be n2 divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 into l now this can be written as l2 is equal to n2 divided by summation n summation n into l now so if there are more segments so it will be n1 into n2 into a3 n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus and so on so i can write l by uh, l2 it will be equal to how much l is summation n 
and L2 is from this relation L by L2 will be summation n divided by n2 okay now this implies k2 by k see k is inversely proportional to l so since l by l2 equal to this quantity so k2 by k k2 by k will be how much it will be reciprocal of this so that is summation n by n2 or I can write k2 is equal to summation n by n2 into k okay similarly I can write k1 is equal to summation n by n1 into k k3 is equal to summation n by n3 into k so using this relation these relations you can calculate the spring constant of each segment spring constant of each segment okay now let us see one more concept which is regarding to the series and parallel combination of springs series and parallel combination of springs now suppose you have springs in series spring in series so this is one spring another spring so all these springs are connected in series so suppose this is spring constant k1 this is k2 k3 and so on okay extension on this spring is extension is x1 on this it is x2 this is x3 and so on so x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus and so on is equal to x this is the total extension total extension okay now see all these are in series so if this is pulled by a force that force is acting on this same force will act on this same force will act on this so all the springs will be acted upon by same force so springs in series they will experience same force so in that case i can write force is kx so this will be k1 x1 is equal to k2 x2 is equal to and so on kn xn okay now this implies x1 is to x2 xn is equal to 1 by k1 is to 1 by k2 is to and so on 1 by kn okay so f by k1 plus f by what is x x is f by k so x1 will be f by k1 f by k1 plus f by k2 plus and so on f by kn is equal to f by k equivalent so this implies 1 by k equivalent is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 and so on 1 by kn okay so this is the expression for k equivalent for springs in series so remember in series the springs will have same force like in for resistors if they are in series they will have same current okay but the formula is just the opposite for resistor this uh, this formula is for parallel combination of resistors okay now in for springs so this is for springs in series next let us see springs in parallel springs in parallel so suppose one is, these are the springs so this is support this 
connected to some arrangement, some block or what. And uh, these springs are in parallel. Okay. Now, if these springs are in parallel, and if suppose this block is moved in this direction, so all the springs will have same extension. Similarly, if the block is moved in the opposite direction, all the springs will have same compression. So that means in parallel springs in parallel, they will have same extension or compression. Okay. So suppose this spring is having spring constant K1, this is K2, this is K3 and X is the extension. So in that case, K equivalent into X, this is a net force acting on the system is equal to how much? K1 X plus force on this plus K2 X plus and so on. So K equivalent will be equal to K1 plus K2 plus and so on. So this is how you can calculate the equivalent spring constant if the springs are in parallel. So these are the few concepts of uh, based on springs and uh, if you can practice questions based on these concepts uh, then this will strengthen your understanding on springs. So I hope this video will be beneficial for you especially for the students who are preparing for J Advanced, J Main and NEET. So my best wishes to all the students. Thank you.